Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Klaus and thank you for tuning in. Today, I just want to show you guys a massive loot plus do some farming at my Tunnel 10 base. But check it out, guys. Pagan, new to Knights of Zion, welcome to the clan, buddy. Hitting a base with over 700,000 elixir. He's using Laloon Town Hall 9. So, let's watch and see how he does it. I haven't previewed the attack yet. Look at this, guys. He's already doing something different than I would have. He put the balloons down first. That's smart when you have some deep like far in air defenses so next thing guys he's got a rage spell on both sides um he's mostly rage spelling not not very many uh not very many haste spells he's also got a couple he had to use a free spell a couple of free spells he's not bothered by the enemy queen level 36 queen guys absolutely crazy and guys remember town hall nine all right this guy's a town hall nine and he comes through and he completely like wipes half the base out with his balloons next step guys he's got a lot of minions around he's got some pups around as well and um honestly don't have a clue how he does in this raid i, I logged on saw massive loot and was like i'm gonna show the bros i'm gonna show the homies i'm gonna show the class family what's going on so <laughs> pagan sits down he's got a minute and a half left he's allowing his minions to do a little funneling making sure they get rid of some of those outside buildings he was obviously going for dark elixir because he's got this baby dragon gunning for this drill his king is behind she's gonna or he's gonna be doing some tanking his queen that's what i'm wondering about he actually held on to a balloon look at that why did he do that i don't understand all right well maybe he forgot he probably forgot all right so king is down queen is behind he already got oh look at this guys and the minion hanging out <laughs> sniping the dark elixir very nice all right so the next thing guys queen grabbing a lot of elixir king ahead taking out an archer tower very very nice guys look at all the loot five thousand dark elixir for a town hall nine hitting a town hall 10 and he was very close i don't know if you guys saw the health of that town hall but he was very close to taking out that town hall as well he's got five minions remaining let's see i'm going to speed up the time a little bit uh yeah there's nothing he can really do with the minions i don't think he's gonna snipe a little per, a little look at the the um percentage he's gonna be able to grab not that it matters it's not like a war attack but that was really really nice guys really really nice so shout out to pagan just wanted to you know show off his attack five again five thousand dark elixir for a tunnel nine is insane champion league level three or uh champion league three insane for a tunnel nine so Shout out to him, man. That was awesome. Now let's go back to base. And we're back, guys, and check it out. I have got my Gola Loon strategy. If you saw my previous Town Hall 10 farming video, I have adjusted this attack strategy. I've removed the bowlers because it just seemed like they weren't doing the work that I wanted them to do. They were taking up one of my raid spells. And so what I've done is I've removed the bowlers. I've added in some wizards. I've added in a few uh, more balloons. And this strategy is actually doing a little bit better than before so let's go out and let's find a raid let's see how we do i am farming up gold but of course i'm looking for everything so let's find a beautiful base probably not as big as the first raid in the video but it will be pretty awesome all right guys this is perfect it's a town hall 11 it does have its eagle artillery but the queen is upgrading yes all right so what that means is that we can actually come from the north with our kill squad of a golem king and queen some wizards and whatnot and then we'll be able to start our air attack now are any of the air defenses upgrading no okay so we probably won't three star but i'm gunning for that gold that elixir whatever it is that they will give me that's what i want so let's put down our golem right on the top just like that let's put our wizards on either side just like that and we'll break into that side i've got a jump spell oh i don't have a jump spell okay uh <laughs> um oops okay so let's uh let's make sure that we get past this wizard tower so the wizard tower is down now let's drop our wall breakers and again why are you going for the cannon compartment that's terrible that is just terrible all right we got another wizard we're going to take care of that elixir collector hopefully the king does not try to go around awesome perfect all right let's pop the king's special ability let's drop the queen let's um all right we're in this is great all right so we're gonna grab this eagle artillery which is probably the most dangerous part of the attack and as soon as we get rid of the eagle artillery we're gonna start this beautiful raid um look at that get some get some yeah yeah go betty what's up 
Oh man, that was gorgeous. All right, so the next step, guys, is can we get an air defense? If we can get the queen to grab an air defense, that would be perfect. It would be absolutely perfect. Um, let's put a minion right there. We'll pop the queen's special ability. We got the air defense. Perfect. All right, so the next step, guys, is let's get this thing going. Let's put a couple of hounds just like that. Put some balloons on that side. Let's haste. Oh, crap. I double hasted. All right. Let's. <laughs> Oops. All right. I double hasted. I wasted a haste spell. It's terrible. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got some wizards. Oh, no. Oh, man. Guys, we're in trouble. We are in absolute trouble. All right. So let's put our balloons just like so. Let's haste that group of balloons in too. Um, it looks like I missed some of the uh, wizards with that poison spell, which is not good at all let's rage spell these balloons um i've got another balloon i can distract with so that's helpful and let's uh rage again and then let's freeze yes and then let's haste all right so it looks like we're gonna go all the way around the base we're not gonna get the core but we will be able to get that dark elixir storage which uh I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I don't need Dark Elixir, but at the same time, this army's expensive. So we're gonna we're gonna get some Dark Elixir. That's good for us. That's good for our health to get that Dark Elixir. So let's put a baby dragon and take out that minion or uh, minion wizard wizard. And what else, guys? What else can we get? We got some pups taking care of that outside building there. So let's send in our baby dragon. Uh, as soon as that collector drops from way out here just like so all right so we should get the gold and we should get the dark elixir watch this this is oh man we're running out of time man that attack was all over the place guys well anyway what ended up happening guys was the clan castle came out and totally trolled me um of course i double hasted which is terrible i love this strategy because it, in it includes five haste spells why is it showing my haste were were all max like max level four that's so weird you guys see that that's a glitch that is a glitch i just found a clash glitch that's so funny anyway so with five haste spells it, it allows me to just throw balloons everywhere it's amazing but i double hasted the clan castle i should have lured the clan castle that's what i should have done i shouldn't have worried so much about the eagle artillery used maybe just the king to get their eagle artillery or what i don't know but uh either way that was fun got some loot let's go out and let's do it again I got it. So next time we have a ring base, guys, you need to do the double entry. I didn't think about that. That was technically a ring base. What you do with the ring base, and a lot of good YouTubers have covered this, but you want to have one entry on one side, one entry on the other, create a funnel out of the circle, and then send your main squad through the middle. That's what we should have done. Hopefully, I run into a good ring base with some loot. That way, we can try it. But I'm thinking like the golem with the the uh, the queen behind, and then like the king with maybe a baby dragon behind, and we can create a decent funnel with that. Wall breaker in, one or the other, or both. Um, I think that'd be a good plan. But anyway, let's find a base. No more talking. No more wasting time. Let's get this thing going. Hey, okay, so here's a pretty good base design. Um, I'm thinking what we should do, because the queen is right there, is we should probably break in through this big compartment, take out an air defense, and take out the queen. So let's put down our goal. Actually, wait a minute. First of all, we got to take out this uh, bomb tower. The bomb tower is going to distract our golem, and I want the golem to go in through the middle. So uh, golem down now, just like so. Let's put our uh, wizard. The uh, baby dragon is doing a pretty decent job of funneling. I'll put another wizard right there. So as soon as this bottom wizard takes out that archer tower or gets it about half health, then we can put down our king. There we go. Okay, king down. Let's put our queen as well. I don't think we're going to really need uh, any other fancy entry points or anything like that. And why did my why did my wall breakers go to a different place? Like, why would they do that? All right, let's pop the kings. Actually, wait, we don't need the ability. Watch this. Come on, come on, king. Yeah, all right, so the king is in. Let's poison the enemy queen just like so. Let's pop the king's special ability. Take out that queen, buddy. Very nice, very nicely done. Good job, king MVP. He actually survived a while too. That was awesome. All right, so the next step, guys, is get the queen to take out an expo or two. And there's a hound in the clan castle. So I am going to, uh, oh man. So if I pop my ability, I'm going to have to deal with all those pups. And I don't want to do that. So we're going to let the queen die. I know that was crazy, letting the queen die. But that's what we did. So the next step, guys, is we're going to throw down 
our uh we're gonna throw down one two three just like that and then we're going to send in our balloons just like that and let's also throw down our uh clan castle hound just like so and look at all of those gorgeous balloons guys free spell over the big group just like that and let's rage the group over the freeze as well. So we got we got balloons everywhere, guys, but they're all kind of coming in at the same time in the middle. Uh, we got hounds out in front. We got a we got a sweeper that's ruining our life right now, guys. Let's put in the baby dragon for that arch tower up there. Gonna keep it nicely distracted. And um, guys, are we gonna get the three star? That would be awesome if we did. Um, but it looks like the sweeper may end up being the death of us. Um, of course, this uh, stupid inferno might be a problem too. Come on, come on, kill him before, kill him before the balloons die. Come on! Oh man, oh man. Okay, well we have got an inferno still alive. Let me throw down my. Uh, oh wait, wait. What, what's what's this? Oh, I put down my wizard, and the the hound likes the wizard. Okay, so next up, guys, let's put down our. Oh no, baby dragon. No, don't do it. No, don't do it. I've got a haste spell. Don't do it, no! Oh man, uh, if the hound pops and it ruins everything. So we got so close, guys. Actually, wait a minute. This this hound may just kill this inferno. Come on, come on, hound OP, baby. What is up? I really wish you would have popped though. That would have helped a lot. But man, all right. So what what do we got here? We got a whole bunch of pups, man. Whole bunch of pups. Let's ha lay down this max haste. Watch this. Watch these. Watch these pups hit that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, town hall. Come on. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> oh man. That was. Oh, that was close, guys. That was really close. We could have gotten that town hall. We would have had a really high two star, but it's okay. We got all the loot. That sweeper ruined it, guys. A good base design. It probably should have come. Whenever I initially attacked, I probably should have looked at the sweepers more. But overall, guys, a 95% hit on a Town Hall 10 is pretty good. So, let's train up one more raid if we've got the... Do we have the boost? Hold on a second. Did my boost end? Ah, oh, man, my boost ended. Okay, well, let's show you a replay real quick. Um... Here's one against Ares, a 77% two-star on a 3,000 Dark Elixir, good gold, good elixir, and what we ended up doing, guys, is I dropped this golem down here, did not know that Tesla was in the way, but down a couple of wizards to create the funnel. Unfortunately, my southern funnel wasn't very good. I should have put another wizard down here to take out this gold mine, but I didn't, so once this bomb tower goes, the king decides to redirect toward that gold mine, and he never returns. So, next thing, guys, we have our queen, the wall break fail because of the multi-targeting inferno so already a funnel fail and a wall breaker fail i suck but it's okay so king is in he's over there queen's over there queen pops ability gets rid of the arch tower gets rid of that air defense just like so what i would have loved for her to take out that inferno but it doesn't work out and then the king he dies out too so next thing guys we got our hounds down we got our balloons down they're gonna just basically go push straight through the base um Problem is this sweeper over here. Yeah, the sweeper hanging out near the inferno tower. It's gonna be a problem, guys. But I've got haste spells all over the place. I've got rage spells in the core, kind of trying to clear out all those expos, which do a ton of work to the balloons. And uh free spell over the uh what is that thing called again? The sweeper and the inferno and the expo. So a good freeze for once. Yeah, and uh, oh, and also it was over a Tesla, didn't even notice. And then the problem lies with the north. And uh, so we take out that, we get melted, there's too much damage going on right there, and we fail to get that Inferno. Also, I mean, hey, the the, the I think the wall breaker fell mainly messed us up, but I think the funnel fell was the biggest issue. The king ended up not doing anything for us, but we still, if I uh, speed up the, the raids and stuff, we still locked onto a ton, and I mean a ton of loot. Um, this one minion, just or pup, just, two pups, two pups, sit there and take the dark elixir. I deploy baby dragon. We're going to grab that town hall, a solid high percent two star with a cookie cutter army on a good base. And uh, we uh, we grabbed a lot of loot. So that was great. Actually, we grabbed all the loot aside from 17,000 in that storage so not too bad guys now we got a little bit of time so let's go and show you one more raid um really i'm really enjoying this strategy where i adjust i've got a few wizards i just feel like i've got so much more um options so in this attack really what i should have done instead of coming directly from the south this is what i'm doing i'm funneling out the south i used a baby dragon up there because of the cannon the wizard would have got shot down so i used a baby dragon but i set up my funnel 
I'm going to wall breaker in. I, I have another wall breaker fail. I need to work on that. Actually, probably should upgrade my wall breakers. But the king commits to going through the wall, so that was good. But what I should have done, notice I'm going toward the queen. But what I should have done is I should have come from probably the left. And I should have taken out an air defense and an inferno and the queen. Assuming everything went out perfectly, but it didn't work out that way. It didn't work out, and that's why I didn't three-star. But hey, so the king is down, queen is down. We got our poison spell on both the heroes right now. King and queen walk up. I got a level 40 queen, guys. Are you sure you want to do this? Pop queen special ability. Kill the queen, or kill the king. Kill the wizard tower, the archer tower. Kill the archer queen, and that was actually not bad. So we still have four air defenses to go. We got three hounds, plus whatever's in the clan castle. Probably loons, if I remember right, but I could be remembering wrong. And, oh no, I've got four hounds in this attack, so this one should have actually been kind of close. Plus, these are grounded expos. They're grounded. They were pointing at the ground, not the air, so that makes things a lot easier, too. But, because of the way the base is designed, guys, I come straight from the top. Four hounds straight down, balloon straight down, too. I've got lots of tanking power, not a lot of attacking power with only, like, 14 or 15 balloons. Uh, but, we got tons of tanking power. And then, I also, watch this, guys. So, we got the entire top cleared off. We got a group kind of uh, going off to the right. Those Tesla's redirect my balloons, which is great because now they're in the core. So I've dropped a couple of rages. The raged, I go ahead and freeze over the, the sweepers because uh, they can throw everything off. So we took them out. And then, guys, look at that haste over there. I actually overestimated my balloons. They ended up not using the haste. It was a wasted haste. Just like earlier, double hasting. That was just stupid. But haste of the group on the right. They're going to go and they're going to do some stuff, do some work. And uh, this group over here as well. So do they clear? That's the, that's the big question. Do they clear this side? At least one side. Clear one side for me, please. Uh, yes, they do. Okay, what about this side? No, they don't. So, in all the attacks, guys, I'm, I'm left with a small patch of defenses still left. And I'm not sure what to do about it. I'm thinking, probably, oh, and hey, balloons. <laughs> nice, y'all are gonna get totally destroyed, I'm just saying. Look at that, one shot, and two shots, and you're dead. Okay, so what, what I was saying was, I'm left with little groups of defenses at the end of every raid. I'm getting the majority of the bases now. I'm not getting 50 percentages anymore. I'm getting more like 70%, which is good. I'm improving. Uh, but what I think needs to change is I need either more balloons or I need to hold on to them and be a little bit more selective about how I deploy my balloons. Uh, because, for instance, whenever I had a group of balloons coming up toward this, I could have put one down and taken out this wizard tower, and then it would have snuck up on this air defense, and then that would have been it. I would have gotten a three-star had I had maybe two balloons left to deploy near the end of the raid. So, and also not wasting a haste. So we're getting closer, guys. I'm enjoying the heck out of trying to three-star. This new Golaloon uh, composition is awesome, and I'm really enjoying using it. Now, I didn't realize that I maxed my gold, so I apologize for wasting a little bit of gold, but let's go to my progress base i want to explain now some changes that i've made to the progress base first of all uh let's collect because i have to there we go i've got my max ing inferno tower going to level three right there and now i've got all my defenses now notice the defenses are in a weird order that's because of the cwl tier system i'm currently a tier two based on my um weight i guess I need to upgrade my Inferno to level 3, and then I'm going to do all these buildings and do uh, do them uh, max these 4 and max or upgrade the Wizard Tower to level 8. Then this guy is going to go back to this uh, last group, and I'm going to I'm going to upgrade these defenses based on the group so that I can have a controlled CWL weight throughout the season. That means that the next upgrade that we need to do, and I've got max gold, so this is perfect, is I need to upgrade this Inferno Tower to max. I've already got one going, now it's time to get the second. So our final Inferno upgrade of the series for Town Hall 10. Let's get this thing going, guys. A two-week upgrade. That's insane. In three, two, one, bam! Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So we got the Inferno upgrading. That was awesome. Eight million gold down the toilet, just like that. So we got this one's going down. They're going to be done in 11 days, four hours. This is going to be done in 14 14 days, basically. And uh, it's uh, it's going to be awesome having Max Infernos. That's super cool. So the next uh, focuses that we have, guys, is we've got these Expos. I'm going to take two of my Expos to Max. My third will go in the next wave of buildings. I'm also going to be maxing two of my Mortars and upgrading this Wizard Tower to level 8. So that's the next focus. Again, all based on CWL war system if you want more information on all that like the details the gory nasty mathematical 
statistical details let me know in the comments i'll do a video on it but right now i think it stands to reason that all i'm doing is controlling my war weight so and, th and this is not i want to repeat this is not for regular wars this is for the cwl the champion war league most clans are not in the cwl so you want to stick to your town hall 9.5 upgrade guide that I've uploaded a few months ago. You want to stick to that if you're not in the CWL. I I believe it's still a good system. So with all that being said, guys, do we have any more loot? We got seven million elixir. So let's do a couple of walls. I'll do uh, I'll do one and I'll do two, just like that. I have no more gold left. I've got seventy thousand dark elixir. I don't even need. So likely. Oh wait, wait, wait. I can collect that. Yes. Yes. All right. And the next thing, guys, is we got a week before the Wizards are done. What should I upgrade next, guys? We got the Barbarians. We got the Archers, both good for hero uh, special abilities. We got the Goblin, which is pretty much worthless to Town Hall 10. We got the Wall Breakers, which need to go down soon. P.E.K.K.A. Don't like the P.E.K.K.A., but I'll probably use them eventually. Miners are worthless, so I'm not going to do those. Or I can do some Dark Elixir upgrades. I got the Minion now. That would be good to upgrade since I use it. The Haste would be awesome to upgrade just because... Uh, it makes the haste last longer, five seconds, and it's a uh, speed increase plus six. So that's pretty awesome too. So probably I'm leaning toward either the wall breaker or the haste spell. You guys let me know what you think because, um, the haste spell would be great for the Laloon, but the wall breaker, I mean, you guys saw several wall breaker fails. Not sure if the upgrade would have helped, but it would be nice to not have any more of those. You know what I mean? So that's my plan, guys. We got our Infernos going to max, which is awesome. Level three Infernos melt the crap out of everything. It's going to be epic. But guys, that is it for me. Hope you enjoyed the raids. If you did like the video, subscribe if you have not done that already. And as always, guys, I will see y'all again next time.